Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Tuesday, March 3rd, 2020. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss, and today I'd like to invite you later on this afternoon at 4 o'clock p.m. Central to my Pivot Boss monthly market outlook. We're going to discuss opportunities and, and the market here for the rest of the month and heading into quarter end, and we're also going to discuss. Uh, the potential long-term implications of the recent move here in the market. So please join me later on this afternoon at 4 o'clock p.m. Central. You can go to pivotboss.echofin.co. If you do not have a login, it is free to sign in, and we will be hosting that out of the Pivot Boss community room. So please join us at pivotboss.echofin.co later on this afternoon at 4 o'clock p.m. Central. If you take a look now at the markets here, one thing you'll notice here in the ES is we had a significant rally to close out the previous session. Uh, one of the biggest days, if not the biggest day on record here with a big massive rally here through the previous session's high, a stop run day in full effect and a major uh, move back toward that midpoint that we've been discussing. So this is the high of the previous month, the low of that impulse sell-off, ended up being a strong low by Friday's close. and the idea is to slingshot back toward that mid. That mid right there is about 31.25 or so. And that's the next key zone here to test here. Now keep in mind uh, one thing that you constantly want to watch for after a stop run day, this is a stop run day here, is the previous session's high. Because if there's a failure to get through that high in overnight trading or early in pre-market, that could be an indication of a fade opportunity back toward the midpoint and the breakout point. So we could theoretically drop all the way back to yesterday's midpoint at around 3,000 today based off the current rejection of the price of the previous session's high. So 30 and 93 quarter has been rejected on multiple uh, tests so far and that again offers a fade opportunity back down. Uh, now bulls will want to be able to pick up anything on the way down for a shot at continuing this thing higher toward that 3125 target perhaps even a little bit higher into the 3200 LVN. So we'll see if this can continue higher. Otherwise, uh, at some point here, once we reach that midpoint, we have ourselves a key range and any direction's fair game as this thing builds out and uh, provides opportunity. So we will continue to watch how that develops. If we take a look here at the ES, uh, or rather the NQ, NQ right now, uh, up about four tenths of a percent here. And currently, again, finding a little bit of weakness here off the previous session's high price. Uh, so the previous session's high right here. You can see the rejection happening at it and now price below it. A little bit of a doji type of day at the moment. That right there, that type of behavior again, could suggest um, more uh, sideways type of action here, especially if price cannot find strength above the previous session's high. Because Again, there could be a little bit of digestive type of trading after a big high range trend day. Now, again, if this thing gives out uh, 80, you know, these recent lows, we might see a push back toward the midpoint of the previous session's range, the breakout point, previous month's close. That's all in the same vicinity. So, again, we will see how this continues to play out. But any deep pullback could be an opportunity, as deep as 8,600 for bulls to defend and push this thing back up almost to that midpoint. A little bit higher and we get it and we'll have ourselves a key range for the NQ. All right, let's take a look now at crude oil. Right now crude oil is seeing a bit of um, a bounce off of S3 on the intraday time frame here. It's mostly uh, a compression type of day at the moment. We have about 59% of ADR so far traded, 135 ticks of range, so $1.35. A little bit of a, a hold here, big outside day. So that was a bullish outside day in the previous session. Lows below the prior low, close above the high. Bullish outside day today, kind of digestive type of trading at the moment. Again, this market has been very bearish and broke through a significant level that opened up new lows that we haven't seen in a long time. That level was basically 49s here. That 49 to 49.20 zone right there was broken. And that opened the door to 43.32 yesterday. We've now bounced as high as 48.66. And retesting that 49 zone from below 
could offer another opportunity for bears to defend and at least retest the lows into that 4250 zone that we talked about before. That's the lows from a, a couple years back. So right now, it's going to be very important to see does price remain below that 50, uh, 49 zone, which is also the midpoint of the previous month's range. That's the midpoint. Here's the high. Here's the low right there. That's the midpoint. So we have a lower value relationship for the second month running here for crude oil. And again, this could provide an opportunity for new lows down the road. Above 49s would be quite bullish and would suggest a return back to 54 or 69. All right, let's take a look lastly at gold futures. With gold here, you'll see it's trading just above 1600 right now. We had a major down bar here. That was an hourly bar, the largest in many, many, many years, if not ever here. Uh, that was a huge day where it pulled back tremendously. The previous session yesterday was not a, did not close above the open, so we did not have an extreme reversal. But we do have a digestive hold at these lows right now. You sometimes you'll get the uh, a digestive day followed by the break here, but you know a big pullback here deep. This could provide a very nice buying opportunity moving forward. And uh, again, we'll want to see if uh, if price can continue to hold the 1560 zone because these recent lows here, a failure to hold there, could open up 1525 down below. So right now, on a pullback in the trend, it suggests a little bit more strength. We got to see how this plays out. Right now, gold trading quite a bit differently in terms of market personality compared to what it had. So we'll continue to watch that as well. All right, everyone, have a fantastic rest of your day. Please join me later on at 4 o'clock p.m. Central Time for the monthly market outlook, and I'll see you in the trade room. Take care.